Dr. Slayman, first, just tell me about your role with the Breast Cancer Walk. Well, the, the Revlon Run Walk has been a huge source of support to the kinds of research we do uh, in breast and ovarian cancer and trying to bring new and effective therapies to women who are challenged by these diseases. Mm -hmm. So uh, our role in the Run Walk has been pivotal in the sense that we've told the community that if they were willing to support it, we would be able to deliver some new and important therapeutic interventions, and we have. Yes, you have. You have revolutionized breast cancer treatment. Tell me about that and how your treatments are different from the other breast cancer treatments. Well, the things we've been working on is to develop therapies that are targeting directly what's broken in the cell. Mm -hmm. The traditional therapies that we've been using for decades have been to, for one of a better analogy, to throw in a bomb and hope that you kill more bad cells than good cells. The idea that happens in the lab here is to take the tumor tissue and the tumor cells and dissect them and try and figure out what's broken, what has converted a normal cell to a malignant cell, and decide whether or not we can target specifically what's broken mm -hmm. uh, rather than just trying to treat rapidly dividing cells. If we could develop something that will target specifically what's broken, in theory, we should have a more effective treatment that's less toxic because the normal cells don't have what's broken. Right. That was the rationale when we first got started with this way back when with Lilly, with Ron Perlman, and with EIF to get the Run Walk started. Well, the EIF Revlon Run Walk, the majority of the proceeds go to your research. Right. For There are two Run Walks, one in Los Angeles, one in New York. The one in Los Angeles, uh, in fact, that is exactly the case. The majority do go, of the resources go to uh, the research. About 80% go to that. The other 20% go to community-based organizations mm -hmm. that help breast cancer patients. Mm -hmm. So that other 20% isn't used for administration or right. anything, but it's used to, mm -hmm. to help patients. The New York Run Walk has a bit of a different split in the sense that about 50% goes to organizations and 50% goes to research that's done in a number of laboratories that we put together as a consortium so that we're not just talking about our research but research going on in other institutions that could benefit patients. We believe that the work we're doing can make an impact and can make an impact globally. What we promised Revlon, what we promised EIF, what we promised the community and what we promised Lily when she first launched all this was that we would do this and if it were successful we would make an impact for women all over the world mm -hmm. and it feels good to be able to deliver on that promise. All right. Thank you very much. Thank I look you. forward to seeing your lab. Can we'll you show, show you. me around? Yeah. Okay. All right so in here we have tissue culture room. Tissue culture okay. and we have the cell line panels and we have people working so we can do experiments on the cells outside the body obviously Okay. Um, and test whether some of the things that we think will be inhibitors will work in inhibiting the growth of these cells. After they're done feeding them, they will put them back in these, in these incubators so they grow in a very controlled way. Now you're gonna look under here, but from what you're gonna see are things that almost look like ghosts. These cells are growing. They come out of the freezer, we put them in the incubator, and then they've been treated. That is remarkable. They're so tiny. Yep. So you How would never see them except they? without no, the scope. You could never see them with the naked eye. So and even in the scope, they're still small they're still what you're working small. with. What we have here are freezers and tissues that have been removed from patients for therapeutic purposes. Uh, oh, wow. Come look at this. Boxes. It so is cold in there. And okay. the tissues are kept in different boxes. Here. Yeah. This keeps them frozen until we're ready to start to look mm -hmm. at those things. What I love so much about seeing this lab is that when people donate money, they, they know, they see where it's going. Because otherwise, many times you can donate to causes, but you may not ever see where? what's behind it. But here we get to see what you're doing exactly right. and how you're actually making a difference. 